morning students uh, in this uh, uh, discussion uh, we shall prove that every metaisable space is normal okay every metaisable space is normal this will give lot of examples for a space to be a normal that is uh, whatever you have learned uh, as a metric space now becomes a normal space okay with respect to the metric topology so first of all uh, what is a, a space uh, what is a, a, a metrisable space okay a topology of space x tau okay a topology of space x tau is said to be metrisable if there is a metric d on x there is a metric d on x such that the metric topology induced by this d equals tau topology is given by the metric topology is given by the metric okay now we are going to prove that such a metrisable space is normal such a metrisable space is normal as this one tau equals tau sub d actually says that okay every open set in x is now open in the metric space x okay and every open set in the metric space is nothing but open set in x and so there is no distinction between uh, uh, open set in x as a topological space and open set in uh, x as a metric space okay uh, whenever i say a set is open in x it means that they are open in the sense of metrics also okay right you consider such uh, a metrisable space x yes. that is x is a metrisable space metrisable space uh, with a metric with a metric d with a metric d on x to prove that um, x is normal so uh, as usual we will take the first condition that is uh, every single tensor is closed in x or not okay, you start with the arbitrary point uh, small x in x okay. and consider the singleton x our aim is to prove that singleton x is closed in x we shall verify that its complement is open or not okay or simply we prove that uh, we, we prove that uh, uh, complement of singleton x is open in x okay Singleton x complement. Our aim is singleton x complement is open in x. You consider an arbitrary point in this singleton x complement. Okay, because it is in the complement of this set, this y will not be equal to x, and therefore d of x comma y is positive. Because it is uh, from the definition of a metric, we are having two distinct points. Therefore, their distance is positive. You take this as delta. You take this as delta. Now it is easy to observe that bond with center y radius delta. Okay, radius delta. Intersection this singleton x is equal to m. Otherwise, what happened? This point is a member of this open bond. This point is actually a member of open bond. Okay, that means uh, d of x comma y is less than delta. But we have chosen delta as d of x comma y. That gives the property that delta less than delta, which is not possible in uh, R. Okay. Uh, b of y comma delta intersection singleton x cannot be non-empty. Therefore, this must be empty. Which means that bar with center y radius delta is contained in singleton x complement. Okay. Singleton x complement. Also, this y is a member of this open bar. So summarize what we have obtained is for each point y in singleton x complement there is an open bar center at y which is contained in singleton x complement. Therefore, if you collect all such open bars as y varies over this set, okay, we are getting a collection of open bars and take their union. Take their union, then you definitely get this equality. Okay. You observe that the right hand side b of y comma delta y for each y in singleton x complement is actually subset of singleton x complement. 
Therefore, the reunion is also subset of this one. Right hand side reunion is contained in this single organized complement. Also, it is easy that for each point y in single organized complement, we have found this open bar which contains the point. Therefore, if we choose y in single organized complement here, y becomes a point in the uh, some open bar, okay, centered at the same point y in the right hand side. Therefore, each point of the left hand side set is a member of the right hand side set, which means this is contained in the right side union. Hence, this equality follows. Hence, the equality follows. Now, you have written the set certain x complement as union of open bar. Therefore, it is open in x. Therefore, it is open in x. As singleton x complement is open in x, then what you get is singleton x is closed in x. Okay, singleton x is closed in x. That's the first condition we need to say that x is a normal space. Okay, x is a normal space. Okay. Now come to the, the second uh, condition. Consider two uh, disjoint poses in X, say A and B. So A and B are closed in X and are disjoint. And are disjoint. Because A and B are closed in X, okay, we know the property A is closed if and only if A bar equal to A. Okay. Therefore, this equals its closure and B equals B closure. A intersection B empty, we rewrite this as A closure intersection B is also empty and A intersection B closure is also empty. Okay. That is another set intersected closure of the other. Now you take arbitrary point in A, you consider an arbitrary point in A. This point will not be in the closure of B because A intersection B closure is empty. Okay, this point will not be a point with the B closure. Therefore, there exists an open set. There exists an open or simply we are considering the metric space. There is an open bar. Around A, say, say ball with center A radius delta suffix A such that this open bar does not intersect the set to B because suppose every open set uh, containing A or every open bar containing A intersect B means A is a point of B closure okay but that is not the case here therefore you can you can you can able to identify at least one open bar which does not intersect the set to B okay Similarly, for each point B in capital B, okay, we have the same argument. There is an open bar, okay, centered at B, or some radius delta B, intersection A is empty. Okay. So look at that. If you give A in capital A, there is an open bar centered at A, which does not intersect B. Similarly, if you give a point of B, there is an open bar centered at B, which does not intersect A. Because of these two, because of these two. You collect uh, open bars okay, with center at various points of A of radius del A by 2 as A varies over capital A. These are, okay, these radius are obtained in this manner. Okay, you first collect the, gather all the open bars, all the open bars center at A radius del A as A varies over capital A. As well as you consider open balls centered at B of radius del B as B varies over capital B. That is, you are considering all such open balls as A varies over capital A and B varies over capital B. You consider all such open balls and take their uh, radius as del A by 2 for each open ball. Okay. Then it is quite easy that okay, ball with center A radius del A by 2 is contained in ball with center A radius del A. Okay, similarly for balls center at B. You consider these open bars as well as this collection. Okay, 
has to be Lily's play. Captain. We said, we said, uh, capital U as union of all these open parts, then A by 2, as A varies over capital A. And capital V as, and capital V as union of all these open set elections, del V by 2, as B varies over capital B. Now we have written U and V as union of open bars. Therefore, U as well as V are open index. These two are open index. Not only that, if you if you if you take any point of A, it lies in some open bar. It lies in some open bar with center at A. Because uh, A in A implies there is open bar center at A. We have chosen such open bars here. Therefore, every point of A is lies in some open bar center at the same point. We consider. Okay. Which means A is the subset of U. Every point of A is a member of U. So A is subset of U. Similarly, B subset of V. Because we are considering all the open bars as the points varies over A, but open bars are chosen in such a way that centers are the given points. Okay. So A containing U and B containing U. Now we are having uh, uh, almost the requirement. U and B are open sets in X, one containing the set A and another containing the set V. Our aim is U intersection V is empty. Now the next aim is U intersection V is empty. Suppose, okay, suppose uh, there is a point, okay, suppose there is a point in say Z belongs to U intersection B. Okay, suppose there is a point Z belongs to U intersection. Then Z is a point in U, therefore it lies in some open bar. Okay, so you see some open bar. So Z belongs to bar with center A, it is del A by 2 for some A in A. Similarly, is that in V, therefore it lies in the union, therefore it is it is a member of some set. Okay. So Z belongs to bar with center B del B by 2 for some B in B. Now Z belongs to this open bars means that D of A comma Z is less than del A by 2. As for this, D of B comma Z is less than del B by 2. Okay, that is basic definition of our open bar. Now use the triangle inequality now. So d of a comma b is less than or equal to d of a comma z plus d of z comma b. Here d is a metric. So now if the first one is less than del a by 2. The second one is less than del b by 2. These two numbers del a and del b may have this relation del A less than or equal to del B or del B less than or equal to del A. These are the two possibilities. Okay, these are the only two possibilities. If you assume this is true, if you assume this is true for the moment, okay, then apply here. So del A less than or equal to del B implies that del A by 2 less than or equal to del B by 2. Del A by 2 less than or equal to del B by 2. Therefore, you get del B. D of A comma B is less than del B, which means that, which means that, okay, the point A is in the open bar center at B, radius del B. A is the point of this open bar. But observe that we have chosen these open bars, okay, in such a way that none of them is ha ha having no points from A, okay. These open bars are designed from A. Look at that, yeah, we have chosen uh, A closure intersection B is empty and A intersection B closure is empty. Using that fact, we have collect, gathered the uh, open bars here. So, ball with center B radius delta B intersection A is empty. This is true for every B. Therefore, this also, okay, for, therefore for this open bar also we are having uh, ball with center B radius del B intersection A is empty. But, a is a point of capital A. Okay, A is a point of capital A. Now it is in the open bar. That means A intersection B 
for the center bit LB is non empty. Here we are getting empty and here we are getting non empty. You get a contradiction. Therefore, this is not possible. Therefore, this assumption is not possible. Okay. Okay. Let us assume del B is S naught equal to del A. Then what you have is what you are having is okay. so del A by 2 plus del B by 2 is S naught equal to del A by 2. That means you are get, you are having B of A comma B is less than del A. B of A comma B is less than del A. Okay. Which means that which means that what here B is a point in the open bar center at A radius del A. Okay. Here is a point of B okay, which is in the open bar. Therefore, this fact is true. But we have chosen these open bars B of A comma del A in such a way that this does not intersect B. Here you are having a point B which is common to this open bar. So you get a contradiction. So this will give a contradiction. Therefore, this case is also not possible. Okay, this case is also not possible. But these are the only two possibilities. But both are not possible. Okay, which means that our assumption is wrong. Which means that our assumption is what we have assumed. Okay, what we have assumed u intersection e is non empty. U intersection e is non empty is wrong. Therefore, u intersection e is empty. So summarize. Uh, for the closures A and B, for the disjoint closures A and B, okay, we have identified one open set U and another open set V. U containing A and V containing B such that U intersection V is empty. U intersection V is empty. Which means that these two open set, these two closed sets A and B can be separated by means of disjoint open sets in X. Already we have established that every single term set is closed in X. Now we prove that every pair of disjoint closed sets can be separated by means of disjoint open sets. Therefore, the space X becomes a normal space. Okay. Hence, here after we can have a lot of examples for a normal space. That is, every metacephal space is a normal space. Okay. I hope you understand this result also. Thank you.